View here of the hatch opening on the Quest airlock. A reminder again that the spacewalk doesn't officially start until the crew puts their space suits on battery power. Gentlemen, the weather's beautiful outside. It's a great day for an EVA. We're complete with the uh, crew lock deep. Hatch is open. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Dottie for the post press. Have Thanks. a great time, guys. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Good job. Rick and Clay, this is Dottie. How do you hear me? Dottie, loud and clear. Loud and clear, Dot. Awesome. Okay. We're in the post press, and we're going to take our, on our DCM, take switch power to battery, stagger the switch throws, and expect a warning tone. Can you move forward a little bit? Yeah, hold on. This has to use. Yeah. When I get out, you'll have a lot more room. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Uh-huh. Mission Specialist Rick Nostracchio here making his way outside in the spacesuit marked with a red stripe to designate his status as the lead spacewalker for the mission. All right. Then, Rick, you're going to um, exit and attach your safety tether to the aft airlock anchor point. Copy. Mission Specialist Clay Anderson making his way still back to the shuttle's cargo bay while uh, Mission Specialist Rick Mastracchio works to begin uh, releasing the bolts that were required to get the ammonia tank assembly out of the cargo bay. View here from Anderson's helmet camera as he makes his way back into the shuttle's cargo bay over the pressurized mating adapter where the shuttle's docked to the station. He'll be installing, once he gets to the ammonia tank assembly, a uh, foot restraint on the lightweight mission peculiar equipment support structure carrier, which the ammonia tank was carried into space on. That'll give him the reach he needs to get to the uh, bolt that he'll be releasing. Uh, negative. We are, we're set up with cameras for robotics. Uh, okay. Never mind. Okay, Daddy, I'm at the ODS handrail. Okay, you want to fair leave here using your other oh. adjustable. Copy, that's in work. You can just make out here a mission specialist, Rick Mastracchio, at the bottom center of the screen and at the top right hand corner, the Station's robotic arm ready to uh, be called into service to move the ammonia tank assembly out of the shuttle's cargo bay once they get all the bolts released. Mr. Accio released uh, the first bolt before he installed the fixed grapple bar, the handle for the robotic arm, and uh, just released the second. That leaves two to go. A minute and a, uh, an hour and a half in today's six and a half hour spacewalk. And three days, 20 hours, and 39 minutes into the STS 130 mission, 131 mission. Hey, Dottie, is my next task to uh, break the torque on bolt three? Uh, your next task is actually bolt two. Oh, okay. really? Yes. Okay. View here from cameras on the exterior of the space station. You can see Mission Specialist Clay Anderson making his way along the sill of the shuttle's cargo bay towards the back where the ammonia tank assembly waits. And he has all those ratchets, so we'll just stand by. Okay. Clay, you're clear. You can come down. Okay. Okay, yes, you got one more to go by, Clay. Your call. How you yeah, there. Uh, I, I, I went high over it. I got it. You look good, man.
Anderson working to get the uh, foot restraint installed on the carrier holding the ammonia tank assembly. It's called the Lightweight Mission Peculiar Equipment Support Structure Carrier. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll get them later. Okay, golf, what, Batty? It's Oscar Golf 1. Okay. Once he does get installed, that'll give him the reach he needs to get to bolt number three that's holding the ammonia tank assembly down. Just that one and bolt number two left to release before the space, shuttle, space station's robotic arm will be able to lift it out of the shuttle's cargo bay. You can see the end of the shuttle's ro station's robotic arm here at the top uh, right-hand corner of the screen. And the uh, fixed grapple bar that Mistracchio installed at the beginning of the spacewalk will be used to grab onto it. That's correct. Okay. Um, probably took about nine or ten turns, I'm guessing. Okay, copy. Turn to the second one. Copy that. All the white lines are good so far. Okay, this view is from uh, Rick Mastracchio's camera as he makes his way to the airlock and Mission Specialist Clay Anderson, meanwhile, is making his way to the Harmony node to stow the uh, foot restraint he used in the shuttle's cargo bay. So you want the fair lead on the ESP2 trunnion. Okay. Understand, thanks. Hey Dad, I got the uh, rat and an adjustable on seat outside the airlock. I copy. Thanks. Both spacewalkers are going to meet back at the external stowage platform where the uh, robotic arm is waiting to install another handle on the ammonia tank assembly that will be used to attach it to the, its, stowage, its stowage location. That's affirmative, and uh, you are going to fair lead as required. Okay. View here of the ammonia take assembly waiting as the uh, shuttle and station and two spacewalkers fly 218 miles above the Atlantic Ocean.
3.8 and uh, 4.67 on the torque green light. Rick, you want to give it a shake test? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you want me to? Pretty Thanks. steady to me. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Very firm. Meanwhile, the robotics officers are still working to get the uh, ammonia tank assembly from uh, where it was and on the at the external stowage platform two, where the spacewalkers were working with it, to its uh, temporary stowage location on the base of the mobile servicer platform. That's the uh, platform that allows the shuttle's robotic arm to move from one location to another on the truss, and that's where the uh, Shuttle's uh, the station robotic arm will be moving to following this spacewalk to give it the reach it needs to get the ammonia tank assembly installed in its permanent location. Play when, um, when able, will you give me a glove check? Yes, ma'am. As Mission Specialist Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger indicated, this is a bit of a different plan than uh, the spacewalkers had originally intended to work through today. They were going to do some work to get the batteries on the P6 solar array ready for replacement, but instead, uh, due to some concerns about electrical shocks in that area, the planned activity, that planned activity uh, was removed, and instead the crew is going to be working to uh, in Clay's case, remove some or loosen some P clamps that are on uh, holding down the flex holes rotary coupler on the P1 section of the truss. This is a shot of Rick Mastracchio. He is the spacewalker wearing the red stripes on his spacesuit that you see there on his legs. Clay Anderson is the one that has the all-white spacesuit. He is uh, getting very close to wrapping up this rate gyro assembly replacement. Uh, the team here in Houston just uh, got the go-ahead to activate the new one. So Mastrachio is wrapping up that activity. As we mentioned, the crew is uh, right on the timeline uh, this morning. They're making very good progress. Go ahead. I'm working bolt two. I copy, so let's see. Uh, that's you, Clay? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought, but I, for a second I was like, well, there's no numbers on it. Okay, so you're probably off of like 169 or 168. Well, it's actually got a label. It says bolt two. What? It has a label? Yeah. All right. Well, even better. As we look at Rick Mastracchio's helmet cam view, uh, we also received word from the robotics officer here inside Mission Control that the station's robotic arm has wrapped up its activity for the day. STS-131 pilot Jim Dutton and mission specialist Stephanie Wilson were at the controls of that arm as it moved the ammonia tank assembly, the brand new one, uh, that was lifted up out of Discovery's payload bay and moved it over to a temporary stowage location on the station's mobile base structure. So that handoff has occurred. And uh, as we mentioned, the robotic arm is uh, 
completed for today. Green light, uh, good torque, 13 turns. Copy. Green light, 13 turns, and uh, see your torque? Uh, I just cleared it. I'm sorry, 31 something maybe? Hopefully it's 3.8. That's what it was. <laughs> You heard just a few minutes ago that the ground team here in Houston is reporting that this brand new rate gyro assembly uh, has been checked out, is up and running as expected. And this device is part of the station's navigation system. Mr. Accio had spent uh, a sizable portion of today's spacewalk removing uh, a failed rate gyro assembly and installing a brand new one. Uh, so that seems to be working uh, uh, very well now. Here's a shot of Rick Mastracchio outside the International Space Station as he works to install this extender for a worksite interface. This is basically just an attachment point for different types of equipment and uh, restraints and other items that are needed anytime the astronauts are outside conducting these spacewalks. This is a get-ahead task uh, in advance of STS-132, which is coming up in May. And discovery for EDA. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, just a reminder for Rick to stay nadir on the ATA for bolt tightening, and that's to keep clear of the SASA. Yeah, can I do that next? I'm right there. I think it's a great plan. And we concur. And discovery for Dottie, the starboard charge is still locked. Do I look clean on the bottom, Rick? As far as I can see, yeah. Go for the camera. Camera's the only thing lagging you. There you go. You look good. Okay. I'll head in and see if I can. Yeah, go in and I'll uh, I'll wait for your call. Put those crew locks under the bungee. Yeah, there's seats in there too. Okay. Hey, Daddy, my safety, my waist tether is lock, closed and locked. Clay's safety tether is closed and locked together. Awesome. Okay, so um, with that, I think you can uh, disconnect from him. Um, I can disconnect my safety tether, and I am. So I'm tethered through Clay right now. Yeah. I agree. And I'll just wait for his call. And that bag's big. Yes. It's a lot easier when everything's stable when you leave. All right. And uh, you did a double check on your uh, hook flock and gates closed. I'll double check them. Both and locked. Thanks, man. Okay, they're under the red, they're under the um, bungee. Okay, one more thing to get here. Big time. Okay, Rick. Ready for me? Come on in. Here we go. Okay. 
So the crew easing their way into the Quest airlock. It's a sort of a tight fit in that hatch. Once they get inside, they will close that thermal cover that you see there as uh, the Great Lakes region of North America passes below them. The station and the shuttle currently at an altitude of 218 miles, continuing to pass to the uh, northeast. Once they get inside, they will close that flap, which you will see, they'll shut the hatch, plug themselves back into the station's power and communication supply. The uh, rest of the Expedition 23 and STS-131 crew are eagerly awaiting uh, their return to the station, and they will begin to repressurize the Quest airlock, and that will signal the end of today's spacewalk. Right now we're at six hours and 16 minutes and continuing to count. Thermal cover closed. Yeah, I hope it stays that way. 